adding social media icons to your Google site is really easy to do. Um, you will have to use just a little bit of HTML code, but you don't know how. You don't have to know how to, to code in order to do that. It's, it's pretty easy. The sites will help you do it. Um, so here's what you need to do. You need some of these social media icons. All right. Here's one for Facebook, for example. You click on it. It goes to the Spring Valley Facebook page. Here's one for Twitter. You click on it. It goes to the Spring Valley Twitter page. There are thousands and thousands of these different icons. You need to pick an icon that you like or a set of icons you like. You can get them from many places. I'm just going to suggest soft icons. Um, it's free um, and they have thousands and thousands of them. So you'll just download whatever icon uh, you want to use. Let's say you want a Twitter one. Here you go. If you click on the set name, Funny Pockets Social Icons, for example, it'll pull up a whole set of these things that are um, that are matched. All right. So you're going to download the icons from a site like Soft Icons, and they're going to be in PNG file format. All right. So leave them in the PNG file format. Once you've downloaded the icons you want to use, you will need to upload the icons to a file hosting site. Um, File hosting site like PhotoBucket is the place where I host mine. There are a couple of places that you can do it. I recommend PhotoBucket because it's free and it's easy. File hosting, online file hosting, is not the same thing as putting these icons in your Google Drive and making them public. All right, that's not going to work. You need to host them online, go to PhotoBucket, set up an account. All right. So once you've uploaded your icons to PhotoBucket, which is really easy, these are already here. All you have to do is hit this upload button. Uh, you want to use one of them. Let's say we want to use the Twitter icon. When you hover on this icon, a gear wheel pops up. Click on the gear wheel, then click on Get Links. What we're going to be looking for is the HTML code. You're going to click right there to get it. It just flashed yellow and told us it copied the code. Now you don't have to edit this code in Notepad. I find it easier to edit in Notepad before I paste it into my website because we are going to have to edit one little thing and that's this first snippet. This address right here um, needs to be the address where you want people to go when they click on that icon. So this was Twitter. When people click on it, we want them to go to the Spring Valley Twitter page. So I'm going to get that address. And I'm just going to replace that. All right. So now I can use this line of code. And we're back over here. Here's my website where I want to put the uh, where I want to put it. All right. So I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to go in here to where it says HTML. And I happen to know that this is uh, where I want to put it. This is um, where the other ones are. So I'm just going to tack this one onto the end. You just paste it in there, hit update, and hit save. All right, so there's that Twitter icon we just um, copied and pasted. When you click on it, it goes to Spring Valley's Twitter page. All right, so that's all there is to it. Just to review, you're going to download the icons you want to use from a site such as Soft Icons. You're going to upload the icons to a file hosting site such as PhotoBucket. From PhotoBucket, you're going to get a link. You're going to get the HTML link. You are going to edit this very first line of uh, text in the in the link in the code to change that URL or address to the address where you want people to go whenever they um, go to the website or click on the icon rather and then in your website you're going to edit page you're going to edit the HTML and you're going to paste that code in there if you've got three or four different ones, uh, and most people do, you just paste one after the other, and uh, they'll just line up just like that. So that's all there really is to it.